so hello everyone welcome to the tab health so in the previous video as you guys know we have checked how to integrate 3d prince container using yml file to run the nginx php and mysql for the project so yeah so in this file there is also one thing like right now if you check i am using the host url sorry my host machines uh, networks like here if you say network mode host network mode host for nginx and for php and for my mysql i have defined the host as a host name as a ip address like the local host so now if if i check in the terminal let me just quickly up the container docker compose minus t okay here all the container are up and if i here is let me check the code okay we have the code that check the php version and the connection to okay have the whole define db name and okay all these are already integrated in mysql so let's check it shows that 8.0 version let me just quickly refresh the page okay here we go yeah here we go 8.0 php version and the nginx that we are using because of nginx it's running so three containers are running successfully but it is using the host machine now if you see the docker yml file in docker yml file we can define our own network that is virtual network for the docker container basically it is good for the multi container app like we are using right now so it also support linux windows and mac os and if we use this network mode it's only support for the linux os okay now if we want to change let's say you just need networks dash then the network name for example backend like this here don't forget to add the space and just copy this one here and then here okay and now one more thing now if we are using the network network then we need to store that networks bridge somewhere in locally for that we can say networks then in networks drivers no sorry i'm no, not drivers the name of the network that we give one backend then in the backend store drivers create a network bridge like this bridge okay that's it if we run this one let me quickly just down the container where all container are down and up the container <clears throat> okay if we check here it won't run now why because we have created the virtual network for all the container if you check docker inspect vk nginx basically it is the container name. and here you can see the ip address that is assigned to our nginx container if you grab this uh, ip address and go to this here here and just do this oh sorry i think i don't copy this let me just okay copy then if i go here here and just do this okay yeah one more thing here now if you are using network mode that time here in here where you define the php you need to mention instant of ip address you need to mention the php container name 
so basically our container name is wikipa p8282 okay here you can say okay at point to that name. and also here the host name that here is defined the ip address localhost ip address you need to use the container name also so say this one right this here okay now i have changed the container now I am in file, so let's just quickly down the all the container, stop all container and then up again. Well, let me quickly check the IP address and hoping okay, IP address is same. Not in here, okay, here. So if I check, here we go. Now we have the PHP same PHP origin and same MySQL origin. So, okay, this what we do with the network. Now, you might have a question like, uh, I don't want to use this uh, thing. I want to assign the custom IP address. So, how I can do that? Yes, that is also you can do it in the Docker. So, first here you need to give the network name and then in network name you need to write which address you want for example ipv4 and then here addresses okay and for example i want to give here just remember you you don't allow to give that local host address because it is already reserved for the host machine so always check on the net like which address is not reserved or private to use so basically all the address that start with 198 192 can okay, we can use that address for example one okay just copy this one and just paste it here and two well, I don't want to like it is not possible to run the two container on the same network same network IP address so just change the last digit and same here now I want first nginx run then php and then mysql for that I need uh, there is one thing also depends on the service name here we have php fpm okay so it's always run first then php and for php you can write like this and the service name this one so yeah it always so it always make sure that it connected to the each order now we have defined this one we have to know do one thing in here like we need to configure the subnet like we are using this ip so we need to define the subnet for that we can use this ip am sorry okay and in that config and then again in that then subnet and then define the subnet masking one sorry one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot zero two ten okay here uh, you can search on this net basically this is the page I want to use for this network that I created back in let's save this one now let's just keep okay then now i want to restart my container okay uh, you you ha also have the option to restart the container but here i prefer that like uh, restarting the instant of restarting we can just down and up the container 
ओके यार आई थिंक आई मिस इनवैलिड नेटवर्क कॉन्फ़िग ओके वन टू एट वन टू एट ओके दैट्स गुड इट्स आल्सो क्यूज़ द सजेशन व्हाट वी कैन यू ओके हाँ यू कैन सर्च दिस ऑन द नेट बेसिकली इट इज़ द नेटवर्क टिंपा बट या इट इज़ गुड दैट इट्स क्यूज़ द आल्सो क्यूज़ the what is the exactly issue and the solution it should be okay so i hope that this work i say okay it is working now okay now if you remember i give the address uh, what is the address to nginx okay here 192.168.0.1 so if i inspect here Docker inspect VK and Genex. Here we go. We have the IP address that is mentioned. Basically, it is a static IP address. So, basically, uh, when you use the network mode, there is no NAT. So, basically, Docker need to go to the host machine and tell the host machine that we are using this virtual network. So that time when we are using network mode is directly use the host machine that time it is not happening this process is just avoided and in the networks this process is added because we are using the custom static IP address so it is slightly slower if we compare to network mode but it's the uh, won't affect that much but it have more advantage like more secure uh, all the IP are isolated so each container has its own IP then it can run on the multiple OS like Windows, Linux, basically it supports all the OS and it's best for the multi container. So if you ask me, my suggestion is always use this networks, create a, a virtual network in the Docker and use for use that network. So we can, if anyone use the Windows machine, they can also just take the file and run this YML file and run the project. So now we have the define, let's say, okay, and if I click here, okay, 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 I have already assigned this IP address to my Wi Fi. Let me just quickly change that on to let's say. 11 12 and and 30 and here also let me quickly say 24 and let me just down and up the container okay invalid ip reach container ip address one six invalid endpoint setting no configuration subnet okay let me just quickly i think this one will work let's say down and up okay now we have this one let me quickly check the ip address for our nginx okay this is the ip address that assigned to the nginx and hoping that this is not the ip address to assign to other system so let's say 11 okay now we have the static ip address which is assigned to which is not assigned to anything and we have the custom network okay that shows that uh, mysql is running and the php is running now i have for just example i have take this ip address you can take any ip address you just need to google it or you can use the chat gpt also so for this so i hope you guys understand and always use this mode networks because it is more secure and also it's easy to understand like what we do in the YML file 
what is going on like that so yeah uh, i hope you guys understand these things and thank you so much guys keep supporting i will post the video more videos video will come soon and thank you so much bye bye